Hi, I'm Larry Johnson. I am a professor here at Texas A&M University, and today we're going to talk about the female reproductive system. In this portion, we're talking about the objectives, the outline, the functions, the gross features of the female reproductive tract. We want to learn the structures of the female reproductive system, including the ovary, which is the gonad, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, and vagina, and to learn how these organs contribute to the many functions of the female reproductive system. We want to learn how hormones regulate and orchestrate the female reproductive process. Basically, we'll start with a general uh, structure of the ovary, follicular development, fallopian tube, uterus surface, and vagina. Then we'll talk about hormone orchestration of the process, fertilization, pregnancy, and a little bit about lactation. Now here we can see the female reproductive tract. Here's the uterus cervix, vagina, labia minora, labia majora, uh, clitoris, as we see. Up here we can see the ovary and the fallopian tube. Those are the parts of the female reproductive tract. Now what's the function of the ovary? Uh, is to psychically secrete steroid hormones and periodically release ova, uh, the female gametes. So it, it produces hormones cyclically uh, and periodically it releases ovum. It also, so it produces ovum and it has transport of ovum and also transport of sperm. It transports sperm before fertilization occurs. It provides a microenvironment for fertilization and a microenvironment for implantation and fetal placental growth. It also provides nourishment and support of the offspring uh, after birth, and then prenatal repetition, capable of getting pregnant again after the pregnancy uh, is, is over. Here we see the female, uh, some of the organs. We see the, the uh, breast uh, there, but also we can see the uterus, or the uterine cavity there, oviduct, ovary, uh, there's another ovary there, two ovaries, of course, uh, and a urinary bladder. So we see some of the parts of the female reproductive tract. And in terms of the general structure of the ovary, uh, you have a germinal epithelium on the outside that we'll see in a minute. It's really a misnomer because it's not the source of the germinal cells. Uh, and then there's a tunic abogenia. So there's a little capsule that goes around inside, just inside the germinal epithelium. And then uh, where we see the eggs here is the cortex and the medulla. And those are the major structures. And here we see follicles of various stages of development, real tiny ones right under the tunic and beginning. And here we see a corpus luteum, uh, which is where uh, a previous ovulation has occurred. So here we see the, the uterus, fallopian tube, ovary, ovary with the germinal epithelium it has to break for the ovulation to occur. A lot of little small cells around the, in the cortex, but you also have the development of the follicles as a time after ovulation, you go up to corpus luteum. After the corpus luteum ingresses, the corpus can. And of course, these hormonal changes influence uh, the growth of the uterus. Uh, that we're going to talk about there on the changes in, in the metrium. Uh, in the uterus, there's a stratum functionalis, and that's what changes with hormones. Uh, stratum based style pretty much stays the same. So here we see the uterus, uh, main structure here, uterus there, uterine horns there and there. We see the ovaries, ovaries, and the ampulla, uh, the isthmus, and then you see the, the uterus. The uterus, you have the lining with the endometrium, and then you have the myometrium as a muscle, and then the perimetrium is the uh, serosa on the outside. Cervix, uh, os of the cervix, uh, and, the, and the vagina that we see. We want to thank the original sources, textbooks, and original sources of images, drawings, uh, uh, and graphs that might have been used during this presentation. We want to acknowledge the original source in this uh, slide. So this is the end 
of the uh, female reproduction, that is objective outline functions and gross features of the tract.